Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. I am traveling, I am with friends and we're meandering, I'm meandering after this, uh, during this vacation over the uh, summer, I'm tripping through Missouri as I speak and I'm staying with friends. So you're gonna hear some background noise, people talking, laughing, music, etc. cetera. Um, hard to find a private area and even harder to find internet that isn't sporadic. <laughs> <laughs> intermittent and I put on a, the community page that it takes approximately 136 hours 140 to upload one 20 minute video mm -hmm. I tell you what I have new gratitude for internet in my location I do pay for corporate level internet though um, so I can upload in like 30 minutes this is a little extensive so appreciate your patience this message is for Virgo Virgo, I, I want to give you my sincerest apologies. I don't know what the hell happened. I did post it. It's missing. It's gone. I don't know if my the internet connection just got sad and said, nope, we're not going to upload anything. Um, I assumed it did upload. My apologies again. Um, I went to re-upload it, and they said there was an error in uploading. So I said, nope, not going to deal with it today. I don't have all time to mess around with that. So I'm just going to do a whole new reading, and hopefully you'll get this before next Christmas. That would be fantastic. So... Here's a reading for Virgo. What's going on? I have meditated and prayed over your cards. I even saged and did some spiritual work uh, just to ensure that the reading is yours. I have the King of Pentacles. That's the third time. So this is the third time. I have dropped this card twice in the pre-shuffle. Um, it came out on the floor both times, and here it is again. So you're dealing with the King of Pentacles. If you're a male, you are the King of Pentacles. Um, the King of Pentacles for me is an energy. You're sitting in, um, again, if not about you, if, again, I'm reading for a lot of folks, so if this is not specifically your skin suit as a male, the energy is coming off masculine, heavy in decision, strategy, uh, financial, looking at your financial, uh, looking not only at your financials, but determined to come out as a pre-emperor. You're getting your life together. You're you're managing your money. You're managing your time. You're, you're strategizing your next steps. Um, I'm going to say the vibe I get is serious. It's a serious approach to whatever is going to show up here next. Um, the Knight of Wands, the, mm, the player card, the intermittent hot and cold in and out. And then I have the Eight of Swords, living to fight another day. So whoever this is, if you're the King of Pentacles or if it's an energy surrounding you, again, reading for a lot of folks, this isn't a private reading. So just know that this energy is showing up very serious about uh, moving this from like an uh, in and out relationship Eight of Swords is fighting for what I want. So this person, um, whoever's sitting in this, um, whoever is sitting in this energy of the King of Pentacles is looking at you, or you are the person looking at the, your partner as somebody who is um, you're passionate about. You want to have a, um, a an intimate relationship, and you're willing to fight for it. Nine of Cups. This, this is make you know you're sitting again. If this is your energy, you're sitting in a very con uh, content energy of I'm happy by myself. Um, I have the death and the empress. So this is a rebirth, I feel, for if you're a male. If you're a male, you have an empress coming forward who you saw uh, maybe as an in-and-out relationship. If you're a female in the skin suit, you're coming off as the empress and somebody's approaching you with this in-and-out um, or historically was in-and-out and now is wanting to rebirth whatever this relationship is. Uh, you're going to have to use your discernment, I feel, right off the bat. Because if this is the energy that's coming towards you isn't direct as to what they want. But if they're showing me as a king of pentacles, this is a very solid, stable person who has their life together. Except in this situation, they don't know what they want. But they make you very happy. You make them very happy. And you're very happy within your own skin. So they're going to pursue this relationship. But they're coming at it with a knight of wands. Passionate, flirtatious, fun, four of wands. Yep. And the devil can't make this up y'all the four of wands is i want to build on a solid stable uh foundation with you i want to rebuild this but i have a, a sense of fear i have a sense of um dependency on something the devil can be anything y'all uh it could be a, a you know a commitment to another party it can be a addiction it can be codependency it doesn't matter they're just saying this four of wands may crack the foundation may crack because there's there's cracks in the foundation already with this um, Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is um, my player card, my here today, gone tomorrow. And the King of Pentacles is the skin suit they're wearing, the energy they're showing up with. So 
whoever I'm reading for, you're going to have to use solid discernment. You're sitting in Empress energy. Um, e even if you are the King of Pentacles and the Empress combined, uh, you know your value, your worth, and your Nine of Cups is you're happy all by yourself in your canoe, minding your own damn business. And this Knight of Wands might be you saying, I'm going to just enjoy myself. I don't get that vibe. I get that somebody's coming in with this energy. I mean, I get like a small percentage that might be for the fool is coming in and starting this again, wanting to have a new relationship. This is a previous relationship um, with somebody that you had. I feel like this was an in and out and now it's going to elevate to a higher level of come in with the four of wands, but the devil's in, at play. So you have some mistrust. You don't trust this person's energy or commitments. You, mm, they might say one thing and do another. They may show up with a solid plan, but with the, with the knight of wands is that's what you're expecting. Is this in and out? This person does make you happy, though. You are very happy, again, by yourself, too. Ooh, this one did not want to come out, but I'm going to grab it. Four of Cups. This is a, yep, a previous relationship that maybe um, just, there was an interruption. We'll just say that, and it's a tower. Um, so I feel like this tower is directly related to this person. It's a shock to you, this person that you may have had a relationship that they didn't offer a full, total commitment in this, you know, conservative sense of the word commitment um your commitment to this person was intermittent how was that it was a player energy i feel like you may have felt like an option in this relationship and this tower is now they're coming they're circling the block um this queen of swords is you're going to show up mafia queen style you're like what are you doing here what do you want how can i help you and this queen of swords is going to be uh if you want to have a real relationship what does that look like getting some you know especially with a fool here the parameters around the relationship kind of guidelines not quite boundaries because i think you're still exploring what does this look like for each of you um the devil in the world is this is a, a significant chapter for you that closed um when i get a world it was like the ending of one cycle or one chapter it's it's not even a cycle it's an ending of a chapter a whole bunch of cycles you went through um elevation so for you to sit in the king of pentacles you're focused on your work you're focused on your family your friends your career you're very happy in your own skin I got the star coming out. So the star also tells me uh, with the queen of cups and the seven of cups is this person definitely had options and they see you as the best option historically. And, and I get the sense uh, that they may have seen other people right after you, like boom, boom, like they went and closed this chapter. Or you found out there's a third party, something that brought the tower down originally back there with the world what originally occurred to stop this relationship is now um not a barrier because they've come to the realization after sitting i feel like in a hermit state they've gone through some elevation of themselves i haven't seen the card to validate that but that's the gut i have and they now recognize you as the best option they they've seen your healing whoever i'm talking to the person that was interested in you that you walked away from or vice versa that person is coming back to have a conversation and they will tell you if they already haven't that you are by and far the best energy out of all of them like you were the best choice they were stupid in letting this go by the seven of cups tells me they had a lot of opportunities or dated a lot of people between the last time you talked and now and they see you as the most the kindergarten teacher the most nurturing the most kind the most gracious most giving the most loving and it's healing the star card tells me it's you helped heal this person you are their central stage you have the mic the spotlight and nothing will take it from you i don't care how many people are on this stage that's what they're going to tell you that's what's going to be the bike drop for you when the tower comes back around the tower isn't necessarily bad it's just like an aha moment an epiphany an awakening it's change it's immediate change where you might have been defensive sitting in this queen of swords energy um waiting for this player because you had this guy or person woman whatever wrapped up in your head as a total liar manipulator user maybe even narcissist um <clears throat> And I get immature. I get self-centered. I don't know if I get narc uh, vibes off this person. I definitely get that they know what they want now and they're going to come in and they're coming after it. Um, I think your four of cups is you're having a, a discussion about what makes it different now to move from four of cups and a four of wands and moving that forward, that needle forward into a commitment. What has changed in you that makes me uh, move to the top of the list per se. Are there any other people on the list? I have the strength in the reverse. This person is struggling. This is an upright deck, y'all. And I have chariot in reverse. 
Jesus. I mean, seriously, this is an upright deck. And so when I get these two cards in the reverse, back to back in the reading, and I feel like this person is taking their sweet ass time getting to you. It's a chariot. I want to get in. I want to move this forward. I'm going forward to have this in the upright is there's a delay. They have to close out other chapters and they need the strength. They're feeling super weak and super humiliated. I don't know what else to say. Um, humbled. Um, this is beyond humble. This is like, I'm an idiot, you know, like banging their, <laughs> banging their head on the table going, I can't believe I passed this up. What is my, I've waited so long. Why did I wait so long? But they're still struggling with insecurity. They're still struggling with, um, not worthy. And I'm, I like their decisions. They're replaying their decisions over and over. And they're seeing like visual clips of the choices they made and, and things they've done in intoxication in coming out of stupidity if they're not drunk or high or making bad choices they remember and re are replaying things they know are true and they are humiliated by these actions they are humiliated by their choices and they're like i'm better than this i'm better than this and they rec they're giving you recognition so i feel like you're going to finally get some recognition it may not be at the level you deserve quite frankly the vibe i'm getting is this person is super guarded with all the swords um your queen of swords isn't helping <laughs> Your queen of swords is, what do you want? This is the vibe I get. What do you, what do you want? What do you, what, what, what could, what could you possibly want? I've given you everything already. Now you're coming back. That's this vibe. What could you want? I left it all there. There's nothing left to give you. I've given you everything. It's kind of an eight of cups, <sighs> shattered glass. Um, there's nothing, you've destroyed it all. What do you, what could you possibly want? So I'm telling you, this is spirits telling me to tell you, hold up. <laughs> If you have any feelings towards this person whatsoever left, if you think of this person, if you're meditating on this situation, if you're stuck in this cycle of mental effery in your mind and you're just re like marinating on your resentment, this will not move forward. It won't. But I got the seven of wands here with a four of swords in the upright. So this person definitely wants to um, come forward and fight another day. The seven of wands is invest. It's very similar to the seven of pentacles. They're looking back at the benefits of this and they're like, I'm going to have to eat my, eat my words, apologize. The four of swords is meditation and contemplation about that's what they're meditating on is all the good vibes they had of you and being victorious. It's right after the six of wands. Um, they want to fight for this. They're at the beginning of the reading, we had an eight of wands and I want to, I want to just spend a second to kind of tell you, um, with the five of wands. Mm. So this person is dealing with other people. The wands are energy, outward energy, right? And it's, a, you know, this is a lot of energy to move this thing forward. And they're so full of fear. They're so full of insecurity. If this is you and I'm reading, and this is your energy again, twist it, reverse it however it fits um your to kind of paint a picture you can't okay let me just let me put it to you this way if this is your reading you wake up in the morning and you first person on your mind you're in the shower you're thinking about this person on your way to work thinking about this person throughout the day between work like when you have a break you're thinking about this person lunch you're looking at your phone hoping they texted you um you drive home you hear a song makes you think of them this is your reading okay and this is a space you're in you see you're starting to see numbers names uh visuals out in the license plate bumper stickers i mean like it's it's coming in whatever you're manifesting you're manifesting this just by the energy you're putting out there doesn't mean even you want it back. You're just trying to heal and make sense of it. I feel like you never got closure. Um, some of this is going to be closure for you. If you don't want this person back, you're just trying to understand what the hell went wrong. How did this go down? Um, how to get it back on track. That's, I think, the energy you're in. This person's already made a decision. We're on the four. The decision's been made. Energy's going to be moving it forward into some form of reconciliation or uh, closure. It doesn't matter which. It's just like you're calling this person back. King of Swords. That's what you want. You want this person to come back right, corrected, and ready for an honest conversation. I love it when I when I energetically get something, and then all of a sudden the cards just show up in clarifying, like validating everything I'm reading. I love it when that happens. I love tarot, man. And I, it's more of a sense of... of correctness and if that wasn't enough if you don't believe me here we go we got the magician and justice you're manifesting this i don't know what else to tell you you've been thinking about this energetically regardless if you want the skin suit back and you're like i know i guarantee you i'll get one comment that says i don't want that sob fair enough 
I'm telling you that this energy that this is showing up in the volume it's showing up in is the majority of the people I'm reading for wanted clarif clarification, wanted to know why it closed out so suddenly, so soon. Why was there third options, fifth options, 25 options? <laughs> what happened here? And why, or even if there wasn't a third party and it was more of a, it just faded and fizzled because it couldn't elevate. It's because your person could not match your energy and you needed it a pause. Now this person has, there's been a tower, there's been a world, there's been an elevation on that person's side. And they're going to come back to not necessarily mess with you, but to kind of either give you some closure. I feel like there's going to be closure anyways because you can't take it into a new chapter in the old skin. You can't in the old sense of energy. King of Cups, that's how they're going to show up. They're going to show up energetically. King of Swords, King of Wands, or excuse me, King of Pentacles, King of um, Cups, and the King of... Um, it wasn't the wands. It was a sword. So you're going to have an honest conversation about your previous love, where this is going, and with somebody who's stable and elevated. This is pre-emperor energy. It is. So if it's you, you've sat in your hermit space. Ugh, sorry. And you've identified um, what you want, what you don't want. I got I got the high priestess that's showing up overall. This is like elevated, um, heightened intuition. Kind of what I was just saying. You're seeing where you might have seen and heard songs before you didn't hear the words. Now it resonates. If you are seeing repetitive numbers, right? And that's occurring. Several of you are big time into into butterflies and dragonflies, and you're seeing an, in, an increase of those things, ladybugs. You're seeing an increase of those things around you, surrounding you, birds, big time with the birds. I, I'm like, messages are coming in. Spirit's trying to get a hold of you, trying to message you saying, hey, get your stuff together. Be careful with the Queen of Swords attitude. This person has had some elevation, been genuine, done the work, and you need to close this out or move it forward. But we're going to sit here and wait. This is your, this is your tribe. We're just going to wait and decide um, what you want to do before we bless it with more energy to move this forward into a higher heightened level. So with all the wands and Mm, quite a bit of swords. You have a very engaging conversation coming up. I have the Queen of Pentacles. That's how they see you. That matches the King of Pentacles. That's how we started your reading. And the Queen of Pentacles is an energetic match to the King. They see you as independent. I feel like the energies this person has been around has been super codependent, super needy. Uh, they show off as the Empress, but you are the true Empress. And that's how we started this. They see you as the, the whole package. They see you as balanced in pretty much every single way. And uh, that's why they're entertaining this and they're kicking themselves in the ass <laughs> for walking by this four cups. And that's the energy of this reading is this is the residual ripple effect of the aha moment they had when they recognized that they um, made a mistake and that you are getting heightened spiritual um, gifts, in my opinion, to energetically feel this coming your way. You already know this. I'm just validating what you already know. That's what I just was told, is I'm being told you already, you're preparing yourself and waiting. I feel like this might be more Leo season for a handful of you. Um, I feel like this uh, new moon in July is going to initiate some of this energy to from from thinking to doing. That's the vibe I get. Tell me any last thoughts regarding this energy upright deck mind you and i got the three of wands in the reverse it's stalled so this person is putting some closure tell me more about this three of wands again at bottom of the deck i have the two of cups it's being stalled because there's other things in the way and don't take that as it's just closure they're making a decision on how to close out their current they're making choices and just like any path you choose to take if you quit a job you just well most of us just we give a notice we work out our two weeks we close out the commitments we have we button up things and hand it off to the next person or to the manager same vibe it's exact same energy this person is exiting whatever they're in um, to make their choices whether they're moving closer to be near you they're closing out relationships that don't serve them they're putting down their addiction whatever this is this person is energetically like i said made a decision but hasn't quite fully gotten to the full cooked chicken they're in the process so it's in the oven it's moving <laughs> it's it's got a timer on it so i think for the majority of the people i'm reading for 
you're gonna get some answers. This is a this is a judgment call with the seven of swords in the reverse. Oh my gosh! So spirit totally. This is the heightened part of your reading, y'all. If you skip it all, stop here because this is uh, this is like my oh my gosh! Not only mic drop, but this might be the title of the reading. This person has learned their lesson based on an intervention by their higher tribe. This energy of player uh, options, um, lying, deceit. Uh, just all the effery has come to a complete stop in this, in this past cycle. And they're in a self, I get dark night of the soul energy, evaluating what they've been doing and how it's not, it, it's been not benefiting them. It, forget everybody else. What they've done is stop their own growth, their own progression, their own blessings, their own wheel of fortune moving forward. And, the, and a lot of them are, ex, are exhibiting and experiencing karma in a negative way, consequences, right? Um, but they're wanting, they're like just getting to the place of, I'm going to, it's almost like the nine of wands. I want to get up and fight another fight. I'm going to invest in this. They're currently in the process of marinating over this decision. And this is spirit validating everything I just said, as I am going through, um, helping you get to this person's, it's been a long time coming y'all years for several of you long time um and judgment has been served so judgment is where like i always say justice and just judgment go hand in hand spiritually where your team has intervened and said enough of the effery the seven of swords is the most deceitful card in the in the in all of tarot and it, for it to be in the reverse is enough it's enough it's enough it's now coming to light and not in a bad way it's um their awareness of it's a different perspective so this person might have lived in a sense of of entitlement for a long, long time. And this person might have said, well, um, I'm the victim in every situation. And now they're seeing, oh, okay, I'm not the victim. I'm the actual instigator. I created this mess. They see the other side. It's almost like I, I'm hanging out with a couple of kids, right? And they're pre-adolescent. And the younger one instigates, pokes the bear of the older one. And then the older one retaliates. And the other the younger one loses their crap. Like, I can't believe he hit me. And I'm like, well, of course he hit you. <laughs> You've been energetically like irritating him for like three hours of course he's gonna hit you you're lucky he didn't take a two by four you know what i'm saying that's the vibe is like what wait a minute they reality they reacted and um that's the vibe i'm getting from this energy is is they're getting an awakening of their initiation they created this problem to begin with yeah five of swords lots of clarity lots of fighting it's a lot of anxiety a lot of fear page of pentacles conversations about a commitment temp temperance is finding balance it's the same energy now spirits just repeating themselves with different cards but the same thing is they're in a, in a state of contemplation looking at the balance the actual balance that's occurring by the universe to make this even so they can even come forward and approach you I don't know who I'm reading for, but this is a ton of energy, a lot of remorse, a ton of regret. That's the best way, best way to describe it. This is nothing but regrets. That might be the title of this reading, nothing but regrets. So my apologies for having a delay and getting this to you. It was totally worth it. And very honestly, this is actually more deep than the first one I did. So I'm grateful I did it again. Um, if you want a personal reading, there's deets in the uh, description below on how to get a hold of the calendar to schedule something with me. Um, I charge for 30 minute readings. I'm also having a July free read giveaway. So if you're interested, just write July free read giveaway and you go in the contest. I do want, I'm asking one thing. One must be subscribed please and thank you to this channel as well as to Instagram because I'm trying to grow that as well. Love and light to each and every one of you. Hope your week is looking great. I'm going to put out um, videos per zodiac sign as the internet allows me to. So until next time, y'all take care. Love you. Bye.